but yeah, busy summer. We got that coming up, like, right now. Um, I also have kind of a semi-family trip, a couple of, fa a couple of family trips, actually. Uh, one in Virginia, uh, in Roanoke, and uh, that, that's later towards the fall. But before that, uh, my ma actually rented a shore house, and, uh, well... <laughs> I don't know. I might do some... I always like to film some stuff, right? It's actually a really cool house. So, you know, it's not like I, I want to get, like, my family... It, I don't like combining the worlds, right? You know, even though I technically did that. The wor I don't like colliding the worlds, even though I married someone from the other world, and now she's part of my other world. So, I don't know. You know what I mean. But anyway, uh, you know, I hope I like to film a lot of stuff, and it's a cool house, and uh, yeah, I like to take video and pictures and all that crap, because I don't know. I feel like some of you guys dig that. Uh, other than that, we have two weddings. My wife and I have to go to two weddings upcoming. The first is in October, like middle middle October in California. So that's a trip, man. That's a trip. Uh, that'll be crazy. So hopefully we can. Uh, we you know, crazy stuff for me is crazy stuff for you, and hopefully I can do some filming and all that stuff, and, you know, I'll have a crazy time. Then I have another wedding in Florida in November, so more craziness, and, uh, yeah, record some stuff in Florida, have a good time. You know, weddings are a good time, even when it's not your wedding. Uh, when it's not your wedding, you're totally stress-free, so, you know, there is that, so of course it'll be a good time. Uh, yeah, man. And I guess, uh, yeah, for the weddings, you two, we'll have to do something with you two. Can't really take you for the weddings. Um, so that's, I think that's it with my personal life. That took a while. And now let's get to, let's get to gaming stuff and Dave the Usher stuff. I think, I'm pretty sure I covered everything else. All right, so Dave the Usher stuff, uh, next on the list. Gaming projects, what's on hold and what's upcoming. All right. Uh, right now, well, I'm I'm really in a couple Final Fantasy projects. Final Fantasy VII, that PC version, was on hold for so long. It, it, it's hard for me when something's on hold to get back into it, even if it's really simple and easy to just 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 turn it on and do it. Right? It's that's easy, right? Uh, uh, you you would think. Whew. But um, I finally started up Final Fantasy VII again, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I really like that game. Of course, it's one of my favorites. It's it's one of the most favorites of everyone, right? So hopefully you guys are digging that. I'm doing Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the PS4. So it's been a very Final fantasy E summer. And uh, I hope to get the variety up and, up and going. And speaking of variety, that's going to be happening definitely within about a month because a new gaming project that I want to check out is coming out in a month from now, uh, late, uh, late uh, August. And uh, that is called, um, it's called Until Dawn for the PS4. Is it PS3 and 4? Yeah, whatever. It's on the PS4. And uh, it's called Until Dawn. It's a survival horror game. And some of you may know what it is. Some of you are like, what is that? Well, look it up. Google.com. Look it up. What do you want from me? Uh, it's really cool. It's kind of, uh, kind of a choose-your-own-adventure type thing and... Yeah, it's just like a creepy type game. Horror, right? Horror, survival, that kind of stuff. I saw the trailer. I was looking, because I was looking for games I wanted to maybe do. I, I need something else. I need something else that's not Final Fantasy, you know? Um, so this looked intriguing. This looked really cool. So I think I'm going to do it. I hope, uh, hope it's a hit. I hope a lot of you like it. I hope you all check it out. You know, it's it's definitely different. You know, it's not like an RPG. It's... It's not anything I'm doing right now, so let's let's change it up a little. We'll do something else, and I think it'll be fun. So yeah, um, that's upcoming. There's also another game upcoming that I'm not gonna really mention yet. It's it's really cool. Um, it reminds me of Tokyo Jungle, but it's nothing like Tokyo Jungle at all. There's no it has nothing to do with animals and surviving like that in like a post-apocalyptic type setting. It's not like that, but it, Tokyo Jungle was a unique game. And I think this game is going to be unique. It doesn't even have a release date yet, but it's really cool. Uh, I did mention it on my uh, Patreon. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to 
I don't want to talk too much about that yet because I'm crazy and weird. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I need a release date for that game yet before we get too excited, right? So there you go. Um, what is... Uh, what's on hold? Well, uh, I should mention that right now another current project is... Um, uh, well, eh, technically that's on hold too. Bravely Default. That's kind of on hold. I really like that game and I would like to get back to it. Um, it's awesome. I, I just, I really just have to plug in my, my 3DS stuff and my equipment and get back to that because that's, that's a fun game. Um, it's a fun game. The editing process is a little deeper and heavier, uh, in a good way. Yeah, in a good way, but there's just a lot to it. If, and you guys know what I mean, if you've seen the vids, it's just, there's a lot to edit and a lot to do, but I like that game. I know, uh, the second one's coming out sometime. And I want to do that. So, yeah, we got to get back to that, man. we got to finish it before the next one comes out, right? Got to get back to it. Got to get back to it. Uh, what's on hold? Um, what's on hold right now, kind of, Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh, I, I, know, I know all you are... I've been over this. Some of you have heard the speeches. Some of you may not have, depending on what, you, what you're watching of mine. That's on hold right now because I'm just, well, I'm trying to enjoy things I do kind of right now. Kingdom Hearts has no nostalgia hold over me. You know, I could play, like, some of you, like, totally dig these newer Final Fantasy games. Oh, man, I love Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, you should play Final Fantasy IV. Dude, that, that looks like, ooh, it's all pixelated and the little tiny little characters. I can't play that, man. Like, where's the graphics? Where's the graphics? Ooh, it's all about graphics, like FF13. Now, that's a great game. Not, not... Uh, but, yeah, I understand, I understand, uh, in, in a way, because it has no nostalgia for you, younger, slightly younger people, maybe, that didn't grow up in the SNES era, right? Okay, I get that. So Kingdom Hearts, the series, holds no nostalgia for me, but I did the first one, I went through the whole thing, and I think it's, you know, the game... It's a good concept, you know, Disney and Final Fantasy, it's a little ridiculous, a lot of ridiculous stuff. But Square games are ridiculous anyway. Uh, but it holds no nostalgia for me. There's a lot of pluses. There's a lot of pluses that series has. There is. But I, I don't... I am not, like, totally digging it. You know, it is not something I like to just... Oh, let's play more Kingdom Hearts. I do want to get back to it. I do. But right now, I'm, I guess I'm taking a break from it. I guess. Uh, I do hope to return. And, oh. And that's the thing. I feel like I'll be totally rusty. I hate taking breaks because when breaks happen, then breaks happen. And even on a game I love, like Final Fantasy VII, the PC version, I started in the summer of 2013, which I just started back up in the summer of 2015. What was I doing, you know, for that for that gap? It just, I don't know, man. But whatever. So that's on hold. I know a lot of you guys dig it. You ask about it. I hope I get back to it at some point. But right now, I'm kind of in Final Fantasy mode. And if I get back to anything, I want it to be Bravely Default. And I can't wait for this um, Until Dawn game to come out uh, because it's different. And uh, we, need, we need something. We need a little variety, right? Uh, other than that, uh, this, is, this is going on right now. I'm doing a new streaming game on Twitch. Uh, having a lot more fun on Twitch recently. Uh, Uncharted 2. I've never played... The Uncharted series. Ever! Missed out, man. It sucks. I was on the fence. Should I do Mass Effect or should I do Uncharted, uh, this, you know, uh, Mass Effect series or Uncharted the series? I was going to do the sequel. I was told that Uncharted 2 is the best. I don't know. Maybe you disagree, but whatever. I started with the second game. You know, just like Mass Effect 2 is kind of the best, right? Uh, and I think I chose right. Uncharted 2. The Uncharted games, I think, are way shorter, right? They seem to be, as I'm already 24% done the game. Oof. But that's fine. That's fine. It, it's cool. I totally dig it. I knew I would. The controls are a little functified. You just got to adjust, whatever. But I'm still digging it. It's, it's cool. It's fun. And I hope you guys check it out. You know, follow me on uh, Twitch if you want to see it right away when I'm live streaming it. Or you can wait, and I, of course, upload it onto my YouTube channel. Right, Lulu Bell? So, yeah, that's fun. After Uncharted 2, which, you know, I should be done sooner rather than later, I guess I'll do another Uncharted game, right? Maybe 3? Maybe I'll do 3 and then I'll go back to where it started with 1. 2-3-1, you know? It, it can be fun to do it, things that way sometimes. 
Uh, I did Mass Effect 2 first, and then I, I actually don't even remember what I did first. One or three. Meh, whatever. But yeah, um, I want to do another 3DS game. Uh, I would like to. You know, there's supposed to be um, a 3DS Dragon Ball Z game. It was just released in Japan. I don't know, so sometime in the in the way future. Uh, I don't know, whenever that gets released, Dave, hey, check out a Dragon Ball Z game, right? I was kind of wanting to do uh, the HD version of Budokai, you know, the first Budokai game that they put out on the, what, PS3? Um, but now I'm not going to do it at all, and I'm glad I didn't get the game, and I'm not going to get the game because they uh, had to replace the soundtrack, which I loved. I got that game back in the day when it was first released. I'm not doing it. They butchered the soundtrack. They had to remove the, you know, the tracks uh, because of copyright stuff and all that. Um, some of you are probably aware of all that. So, so man, that ruins it for me. No, forget it. Forget. Uh, -uh I'm not doing it. Maybe I'll do the PS2 version at some point. Um, what else could be coming out? I don't know. I would like to do something 3DS wise. Could I play my Wii U? It would be nice to dust that thing off, right? Um, I tried playing that Kirby game a couple months back. It didn't seem like that had a lot of attention drawn toward it, so I ditched it. You know, I ditched it. It doesn't get, uh, I gotta tell you, if it doesn't get a lot of attention, I kinda ditch it. Unless I really like it, I kinda ditch it. Uh, oh, hey man, upcoming projects. There's a new Transformers game coming out. Uh, early October, right? New Transformers game. Sign me up, of course I'm doing it. Of course I'm doing it. Guaranteed. There you go. So, uh, unless I can't remember anything right now, I think that's all the gaming projects I have going on right now. I have going on right now. Awesome stuff. Some people ask, uh, going next on the list, some people ask, uh, hey, you should do more cartoon commentaries on the Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise series, which I think is a below average series. <laughs> uh, personally. But I could, I could, I don't know if if people want that. If people, I did, I did some cartoon commentaries. Once I fall out of something for a little bit, it kind of takes me a kick in the butt to get back to it, you know. And then I I procrastinate a little. Um, but yeah, I could get back in the cartoon commentaries. I could do any cartoon. It just depends on like if you guys are digging it. And I could go back to the Robots in Disguise show. I could do other Transformers cartoons, you know, I could do, uh, I could do DC stuff, Marvel stuff, whatever, you know, anything, man. So yeah, just let me know, you know, you got to give me, you have to give me your feedback on that. Um, so yeah, there it is. There you go. Next on the list, because I got a list, exotic foods. Hey, when was the last time I did an exotic food video? It was in December, right? And I ate Rudolph. I, I, I took a, a big hammer and I, I, like a baseball bat, I slugged him in the face with a hammer, and I stepped on his red nose and broke it off, and then I just I ate that, or I just ate that, and I drank Rudolph's blood, and then I sliced him up, and I made some reindeer, uh, what was it? I don't even remember what I made. Oh, yeah, it was like a meatloaf kind of thing, right? I made like a reindeer meat, it was in like a, like, um, like a bread kind of thing, right? That was good, by the way. Yeah. Reindeer, I will say, reindeer is good meat, man. Good eating. Reindeer, good stuff. So it's been since late December since I did an exotic food video. And I mentioned this on a private Patreon vid already, just uh, like last week or whatever. Uh, dude, as soon as I get back, you know what, man? As soon as I get back from this convention, this Canada trip, I'm just going to go into my freezer and I'm going to grab... I'll tell you what I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab my guinea pig... I have a guinea pig in my freezer. It's next to the lion meat and the zebra meat and the other reindeer meat and, I don't know, a couple of fish, uh, like a scorpion fish and a lion fish that I still haven't eaten, uh, and some coyote meat, which I might have to throw. How, how long does that stuff keep? Uh, but, man, I'm going right into the freezer. I'm grabbing my guinea pig, and I'm taking it out, and I'm sticking it in the bottom fridge, and I'm defrosting it. And once it's once it's defrosted, you know, it's uh, it's go or no, man. It's go time or no time. You know, you chuck it out. Once that thing's defrosted, you gotta go for it. You know, it, it, it's not like 
it's not like I have to bake a whole re do follow a recipe and all these steps. It's like a rabbit, right? You know, it, it's skinned, it's whatever, it's all set to go. All you gotta do is like a rabbit, and you can buy rabbits at stores, of course. You can buy buy rabbit. I've eaten one. I've tried it. You know, it's take. I'm gonna take the guinea pig. I'm gonna stick it in the oven. And I don't know, whatever, 350 for 45 minutes? What do you think? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, you just stick the damn thing in the oven. I'm going to pull it out and be like, hi, how you doing? I'm Dave the Usher. This is a guinea pig. Some of you may have this as a pet. Well, I'm having this for lunch, man. And I'm just going to take a chomp out of it, man. Have some guinea pig. Who, let's just do it. Enough procrastinating. I swear to God, the, the night I get back, I'm taking it out of the freezer. Maybe that'll be like the final segment of my uh, the travel videos. You know, I'll, I'll do Niagara Falls, and then we'll we'll be traveling home, and we'll be talking about whatever BS we're talking about. And then I'll be in the kitchen. I'm gonna be like, here it is, here it is. I'm gonna do it just just to spite it, just for spite's sake, man. I'll do it. Here it is, guys. This is the guinea pig. Ooh, taking it out of the freezer now. There you go. The frosting time. We're gonna be eating this in a couple of days. Good stuff. So, yeah, as soon as I get home, man, it's time to go. We're going to be eating some guinea pigs soon. So there you go. I can't wait to get back to some exotic foods. <sighs> okay. I'm all, I'm all right. I'm calm. Uh, next on the list and last, I suppose, this video is pretty short. Uh, toy reviews. I like toys. Did you know that? I don't know. Probably not. But, uh, yeah, man, I dig them. Let me just grab one out here. Hey, it's Windblade. Look, Lulu Bell, it's Windblade, and she has her sword, and she's kind of a pain in the ass to transform, actually. But, you know, I've always been a toy collector. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I, I loved toys. Who doesn't, what, what kid doesn't like toys? And then you kind of, you go into the junior high, the junior high phase, and it's terrible. And your body's like, oh, and your mind's like, oh, and then you're like, no, I don't think so. And then you grow out of it, and then everything's okay, and you're like, man, I used to love that stuff, you know, and then BotCon 2001 happens, and you're a little older, and you can just about do it, right? Uh, so, yeah, man, I've always liked collecting toys. You know, the Beast War figures, the Beast War figures were the first toys that I, like, really started collecting in the, in the mid-90s that I wouldn't be playing with, you know, like, I, I would be collecting and I, I really, I was in junior high. I really was late, late junior high years, but still junior high nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, Beast War figures were the first toys I started collecting as something like, like a work of art, like something to admire and like just these things are pretty cool, you know. Uh, so yeah, I kind of want to do toy reviews. I've been kind of wanting to do it with uh, Transformer figures. Now, um, a lot of people have done toy reviews, you know, people, there's people out there that, uh, they do them, you know, they, they do their whole thing. I've, I've watched a couple, I, I'm going to let you in on a secret, uh, a lot of those, a lot of those people, not all, uh, some people, I, it's not like I'm watching a lot, but some people are cool, but, uh, some of those guys out there, they kind of piss me off, uh, ah, they're just not for me, okay, they're just not for me, but you know what? I don't want to do it that way. Yeah, it's very technical. They explain everything very well. Uh, they know what they're doing. They, they know what they're saying. But that's not my style in some ways. I, I don't like to do it that way. And you know what? If I do this, maybe I'll do it in the same manner that I do my uh, gaming videos, you know? Gee, nothing would make me happier than to tell you the strategy of using the fire rod against the ice monster in the Final Fantasy IX cave and, and how it does 10% uh, more damage. And, uh, you know, I, I do get technical sometimes and I tell you guys strategy, but, you know, it's not really my thing. I just posted a Final Fantasy X part where I go on and on about Lulu Bell the dog and her potty training because this is me and that's, that's my style. I, I, I'm just different in my... In my gaming vids, some people like it, some people don't. I, I don't get comments about it anymore usually, but oh, back in the day, a couple years ago, like, why, why don't you explain how to how to do things in the game? Like, pfft, you, you hit the X button. What do you want? What do you want from me, man? You know, that's an ice monster. Use fire on him. What What do you want from me? All right. So uh, if I do this toy review stuff, 
Maybe I'll just do it in my style, you know, and I, I have some ideas in mind, you know, I like to tell stories, I like to, I, I do it my way, so, uh, I have, I have my first one in mind that I'd like to do, and I guess I'll also do that when I get back. I've never done it before, so we'll see, you gotta put the camera at a certain angle, and I don't know, your hands, right, you know, and the, I don't know, I'll figure it out, right, I think I can figure it out, I think, I think I can do it, right, Lulu Bell? It's getting hot in here. I didn't. I did not close my windows, but I put the shades down. The AC is off, and uh, I don't know. I don't think I have to take you out, Lulu Bell. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Sometimes she responds. Sometimes, eh. Same with Bailey, really, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Finishing up with toy reviews. Speaking of Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Hey, buddy boy. So, man, a lot of craziness is is happening when you see this video it'll be about a day o away from my trip it'll be a day from my trip bailey is excited i'm sorry lulu bell but let me tell you after that you're coming on the trip trips with us Ooh, well maybe not that shore house trip with the that my my ma rented a house for a couple you know family family trip and it's kind of expensive and fancy that's why i want to show it to you it's kind of fancy and if you're not potty trained in time uh, little lady, little lady, she's, puppies are funny because they like really nap a lot, like she's totally, she's totally napping over there, um, gotta be potty trained a month from now or we're gonna have to do something, I, we can't have you plopping, can't have the ploppers in this fancy house, I already got rimmed out by my mom about it, you know, oh, we can't, we, we cannot have, they don't even accept pets in the house, that's, that's why it's a problem, you have to hide Bailey, you know, mothers, you have to hide Bailey, and uh, you're just visiting. Uh, all right, okay, let's calm down. So uh, hopefully it works out, Lulu Bell. You tired? Yeah, I'm tired too. This video is almost an hour long, but I know all of you watched every moment of it. <laughs> maybe I'll even split it into two. Probably, maybe, maybe. Hey, if I do do that, I'll, I'll put like a, a voiceover like this, and I do this once in a while in my videos. Hey guys, this video is running really long, so be sure to check out two, uh, see, I messed up. <clears throat> hey guys, this update video is running really long, so be sure to check out part two. Good stuff. Okay, so uh, I may or may not do that. An hour is kind of long for a whole one video. I'm gonna do that just because it's silly and ridiculous. Okay, but no, that's really it. We went over everything. The new dog, Patreon, the, the Canada TFCon trips, the having the busy summer with other trips, gaming, gaming projects, you know, other Dave the Usher type stuff like cartoon commentaries, my exotic food videos, toy reviews, and uh, yeah, man, crazy stuff. I, I will be honest, this summer's been hard in regards to, um, in regards to Dave the Usher uh, activity it's been, how shall I, I put this, it's been a slow summer um, in regards to statistics. So that sucks, but what can you do? Uh, I've said this before, I've, I've been doing this since 2008. Uh, I've known people have been doing this that long, you know, like Scorch A2, Shadow Zack, uh, Batman 9502. He might have started in 09, I don't remember. Uh, but, you know, guys like us, we started doing this a couple years ago. Why? Because it's like a passion it's fun and you know what if I never did this and I've said this before I never would have met my wife and I wouldn't be married and I wouldn't I guess I wouldn't be in this particular house I don't know I guess I wouldn't have Lulu Bell um, who knows man I wouldn't have uh, lost all that weight probably uh, 135 pounds <clears throat> so yeah man all because back in 2008 you people were watching, and you said, hey, this, this guy is fine. Let's watch him again. He's fine. So I'm like, oh, they think I'm fine. I guess we'll keep doing it. And I've been doing it, and I hope to keep on doing it for more years. And I've said this before. So good stuff, guys. Thanks for watching, I guess, two of these update videos now, because I'm splitting them up. I'm splitting them up, man. And, uh, yeah. Canada time, TFCon time, and those vids will probably be up following uh, this video these videos and I got a couple other uh, Final Fantasy videos that will be uploaded during my trip so you know I'll always have something going up every day whatever like always so there you go guys thanks for 
Thanks for watching all this, and uh, I hope this has been informative and arousing. Okay, good stuff, guys. So I'm Dave the Usher. I don't know, a uh, lot of stuff in the video description. Check it out, right? Come on, check it out! And that's all. Thanks for being here, Lulu Bell. Would you like to see Lulu Bell one more time to sign off? Lulu Bell! Lulu Bell! Come here, girl, real quick. Real quick. Thank you, Bailey. Bailey's already running away. So, uh, see you later, guys. Goodbye.